Is in Catholic schools week coming up soon? Uh, yes, what's the theme this year? It's living in harmony with God's creation. I'm not sure I know much about that. Me neither. I'm sure someone around here knows. Someone said Bishop Michael Ruders visiting the school today. Maybe he knows. I heard he used to play football back in the day. I wonder is it any good? Find out now. Someone told us you think you can play football. Are you any good? So I used to be in the past. I think I still got it. All right then. Come on, we'll see. This goal. Let's put it past the bishop. Let's go. Biscuits. Would you rather soccer or beer, GA? GA. Tea or coffee? Tea. Dogs or cats? Dogs. What's your favourite food? Uh, steak. What's your best advice for young people today? To love yourself. Since you're a coffin man and you don't get much football, like, what do you do in September? Well, usually I pray for anyone who's playing against Dublin at that time of the year. Well, I felt I had a calling from a very early age. Uh, I would have first thought about being a priest when I was about three or four years of age, believe it or not, that far back. Uh, but as a family, we were very involved in parish life and um, involved in community affairs. And I would have seen, as I was growing up, uh, worked with uh, various different priests in the parish and uh, I would have seen that they did tremendous work and were very devoted uh, to their vocation. So as I grew up, that was something I wanted to be. What's the best thing about being a bishop? Well, I'm not that long a bishop. I'm only about six months, but the best thing so far has been meeting so many different people. I get to travel around uh, the diocese to various different parish and parishes and communities and just meeting so many different people in various uh, walks of life. I'd have to say that that so far has been the best part of being a bishop. Have you any solutions to the global oral crisis? Well, it's a very difficult question. Uh, it's, the solution is multi-layered, but effectively I think it basically has to do with our use of energy. Uh, we use a huge amount of energy we have to create uh, such a, a massive amount of, of electricity and there are various different ways in which, which we do that. So I think we have to find ways that are more ecologically uh, friendly, friendly in terms of, of uh, creating the electrical energy, the electrical power that, that we need. Uh, but that is beyond our scope to some degree, but we have to be careful ourselves as well about how we, we use that energy. Uh, that maybe you know switching off lights and 
uh, not being on the computer or the television as much as we generally are, uh, not using huge amounts of heat uh, in our homes that's produced by uh, oil or electricity, uh, but to look at different ways in which perhaps we can we can do that, we can, can heat our houses and just looking at our own lives and seeing what is our usage of energy and do we need to use as much or are we wasteful uh, with it. I, I think uh, that would, uh, if all of us took that seriously, I think that would begin to solve uh, the problems that we face. What does living in harmony mean? Well, I think that living in harmony is basically being about being at peace with yourself. If you're not at peace with yourself, I, I mentioned uh, earlier on when I was talking about loving yourself, um, and I think we have to, to be at peace with ourselves first of all, because if we're not at peace with ourselves, uh, then we can't be at peace with other people, and we can't be at peace with the environment around us effectively. Uh, and usually people who damage others, who damage themselves, and who damage the environment, very often they're filled uh, with a sense of anxiety and hatred and angst. So it's a matter of, of being at peace with yourself, loving yourself, because if you don't do that, if you don't love yourself, first of all, then you can't love others. So I think that's really what, what being at harmony with uh, others and with the world is, is it being about uh, you know, being in harmony with yourself, being at peace with yourself first and foremost.